So welcome back to a new gameplay video. Uh, while I'm showing you the cards here, I'm just going to briefly explain uh, what this gameplay series is about. So if you remember um, in some of my previous videos I did a mystery player series where I just picked a random obscure player uh, for a card which I had and put them in the game just to see how they would do. Well I decided to take that format and sort of grow upon it. Uh, so what we're going to do is I have picked five mystery players. I'm going to make a video based on each. They're all strikers or second strikers. And we're going to do a little league to see how many goals they can score and pit them against each other. So the way I work it out is to make it a little bit more interesting, a bit more high scoring, is that for every goal they score, they'll get two points. And for every assist, they will just get one point. And at the end, we'll add it all together, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll run a little league just just for a laugh. Uh, and also, this is uh, the first time I've made any gameplay since the 2021 update. We're now in 21-2 season. Um, yeah, but this is the first time, so I'm not going to include the previous mystery players like Andy Carroll mainly because the AI wasn't the same for them so I don't think it would be a fair comparison and plus I think it's more interesting just to wipe the slate clean and, uh, and do it again so that is uh, just a quick rundown of what we're going to be attempting here um, yep um, when I finish showing you these cards we'll get into the into the gameplay so the first mystery player is going to be Roberto Baggio as a second striker uh, he's not going to be playing all out in there as a centre forward but he can do that he, he does have the uh, positioning to play there but we're for the benefit of this video we're going to put him in the second striker slot just because that's where I think at the moment he's going to perform best and we'll see how we get on during the match so the formation, we've gone with David Alaba on the left, we've got Dejan Lovren, Matt Hummels, uh, the central defenders, we've got, also got Alison Becker, which is the new va variant, 2000, uh, 2101 variant of him. Uh, we've got Modric and uh, Casemiro midfield, obviously Roberto Baggio, who's going to stay on for the entirety of this match. Um, yeah, and we've got Fernando Torres up front, um, just for a little bit of uh, variety. Uh, on the fence, we've fence on the on the bench rather. <laughs> we've got um, Ibrahimovic, uh, Rabiot, Joe Gomez, uh, Phil Foden, and Thomas Muller. I think. One thing they still haven't fixed is the uh, when you run a free formation, they cannot get the player allocation correct as you can see we've got Jade and Sancho on the left wing instead of the right and we're playing with a 4-2-4 and here we go this is the first uh, the first gameplay video of the new year I've made you may notice I've changed the color of my team we're now going for uh, Atletico Madrid colors red and white stripes uh, before we had the the Liverpool uh, home kit. So the um, to try and give um, oh, just had the ball pinched off in there. So to give Roberto Baggio the best chance of scoring, we're running the hot line straight down the middle uh, in the hopes that he can get onto the end of something. Uh, they are defending very well at the moment. We're playing against a uh, AC Milan side here. It's a lovely ball out there by Baggio. The AI is still not great. They still make strange decisions. Like sometimes when they're clear on goal, all they've got to do is run and shoot. They will randomly pass it. I don't understand why Sega can't fix this because that's been a it's been a problem with the game since I can remember the the AI's choice when to 
run through on goal and when to pass, they can't seem to make up their minds. I think what they should do is to pass along the hotline, you have to push up on the control panel. And oh, just cut me off, we have just scored. I think that was Jaden Sancho, it was Sancho. Uh, but not, not Roberto Baggio. Uh, but what I was saying is um, to pass along the hotline, you push up and that will pass it to the nearest person in the hotline and if a player in the hotline has the ball they'll pass it along the line uh, that's why holding up, if you hold down um, you can see there those dotted blue lines come out, that's how you tell to do a defensive press you, so there's a left and right arrow as well but what they do is they just cycle through your player stats on, on the mini map there on the right hand side and oh what a goal, I think that was Baggio that played that up to Fernando Torres that was a, a lovely free kick and I think Torres took that on the volley and smashed it into the left side of the net yeah once again as I was saying before I get interrupted by the action I think one of these arrows they could change so maybe if you push left you can tell your players to just run towards the goal, don't pass, just run forward. I think that would make more sense than just relying on the AI to decide when they're going to run and when they're going to pass. Very rarely do I scan through the player's stats. And I don't think you need two buttons to do the same thing. Anyway, that's half time. So we have one assist from Roberto Baggio at the moment. He's pretty tired. He's down just under halfway. Um, but like I said, he has to stay on. That's one of the rules. Unless he gets injured. But then if he gets injured, we're going to forfeit the match. And it won't count towards the mystery player. But injuries happen so rarely, I don't think we have to worry about that. So anyway, we're into the second half now. That's a, ooh, I think that was Luka Modric with the shot, just wide of, wide of the right post. But we seem to be defending well. We haven't had a we, AC Milan haven't had a go on target yet, and that was Roberto Baggio again. Or was that Fernando Torres? right on the edge of the box, always getting his pocket pinched. It's gone right out to Sancho again, he plays it in uh, and that was Fernando Torres just shooting straight at the goalkeeper but he was offside anyway. And we've given away a, a free kick there. And we've got some of the first substitutions taking place now. Not from me. I didn't. Oh, uh, I have got a substitute waiting by the looks of things. It looks like Modric's coming off, and we've got uh, Phil Foden coming on, so that'll be the next time the ball goes out of play. Again, that was uh, through ball to Torres, but falls to Modric, who shoots straight at the keeper. And Sancho follows up, but he shoots wide at the right post. And there we go, there we go, that's Modric coming off now. And we've got uh, my rookie, Phil Foden, coming on. Hopefully we'll get a new card of his uh, in the coming seasons. Sancho brought down. Let's see if Roberto Baggio can get another assist here. No, he can't. Still only one assist, so at the moment he's currently on one point. Oh, 
Roberto Baggio just too slow to get onto the end of that one. He's really tired now. And we've got a head on goal. There's a lovely cross out from the right from Sancho. And uh, Casemiro. It's not Casemiro, that's uh, sorry, Ibrahimovic has come on. Casemiro is the assist. That celebration always confuses me because the focus is on the player giving the assist, not the player that gives the goal. Yeah, the, for some reason that stock celebration is just really, really confusing. It focuses on the wrong player. But then having said that, Casemiro has come off anyway as a substitute. And it looks like we've got Thomas Muller coming on to replace him. Yeah, I missed that, but at some point Torres came off and Ibrahimovic came on. That's full time. Uh, doesn't look like Roberto Baggio managed to get any goals, so that leaves him on uh, one point, one assist, one point, no goals. So that was it for the first um, mystery player, mystery striker, uh, Roberto Baggio. From the score sheet here, you can see he only got uh, one assist. That only gives him one goal. So he's in first place for the time being. Um, so thank you for coming back and watching this video. Uh, and I hope you stick around and come back to see the, uh, the next videos with the other players and see how they get on. And at the end, we'll have an overall winner. Uh, but yep, yeah, like I said, uh, thanks for watching.